In this video, we look at changes in price and supply and demand forecasts for the major metals. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. There are two sources that regularly release updates for the prices and supply and demand of the major metals. Australia's Office of the Chief Economist, or AOCE, with a quarterly report, and the World Bank, or WB, with biannual updates. Looking here at the forecasts for 2024, both sources are reasonably bearish on their metals price outlook for next year. For the gold price, both AOCE and WB have been playing a game of catch-up in their forecasts. Having underestimated the actual 2023 average of over 1900 US dollars per ounce through 2022. While both forecast the decline in the gold price for 2024, we believe that they may once again fall short in their estimates and still see significant drivers that could boost gold next year. Forecasts for the copper price have been more volatile, driven by swings in global economic demand expectations. Estimates declined into late 2022, jumped in early 2023, and then have declined again in the latest June 2023 AOCE estimate, with the WB estimate in April 2023 likely still reflecting the more bullish first quarter 2023 sentiment. AOCE also reports supply and demand estimates not available from the World Bank with copper expected to move from significant deficits from 2020 to 2022 to a small surplus in 2023 and return to a major deficit in 2024. However, the deficit estimates have jumped around considerably in the last three reports, explaining the big moves in the price forecasts. Estimates for iron ore prices, which are reflective of the outlook for China's economy, given that they account for the majority of its global output and consumption, are quite different between the two sources, with AOCE lower and WB higher. And although the estimate trend has picked up over the last few quarters, both still expect a price decline in 2024. AOCE does not report supply-demand statistics for iron ore as it does for several other metals. While aluminum price estimates for 2023 came down over 2022, it's the only metal for which both the AOCE and WB are forecasting gains in 2024, and both sources increased their targets for next year in their recent reports. The declines in the 2023 aluminum price forecast have been driven by the market moving into a considerable surplus in 2023 for which estimates rose considerably from the December 2022 to the June 2023 report. The rise in the 2024 price forecast has been driven by an expected return to a deficit for the metal, well down from a large surplus forecast in December 2022. Nickel price forecasts have been mixed, with the AOCE's 2023 and 2024 estimates flat through most of 2022, jumping in the March 2023 report, but pulling back in June, while the WB 2023 forecast was cut in the October 2023 report and then raised in the April 2023 report, and the 2024 forecast has trended down over the past year. After a large deficit in 2021, the nickel market saw a large surplus in 2022, but AOCE expects this to contract by nearly half in 2023 with an almost balanced market in 2024, and the forecast surpluses for 2023 and 2024 have declined considerably since the December 2022 estimates. The zinc price forecasts from both AOCE and WB for 2023 and 2024 have declined over the past year, with the estimates for both years converging from a significant spread in mid-2022, at which point the 2023 forecast was significantly above 2024. The zinc market has seen a contracting deficit, and in 2023 is expected to be about a quarter of the level of 2021, then shifting to a small surplus in 2024. And the deficit estimate for 2023 was flat in the June report versus March, and the 2024 deficit estimate has been flat since December 2022. Only AOCE reports estimates for lithium prices, and forecasts for both 2023 lithium hydroxide and sputamine surged over 2022 and into first quarter 2023, but have flattened in the June report. 
2024 price forecasts peaked much earlier in December 2022 and have been cut for the past two quarters. After a major surplus in 2020, lithium slid into a deficit in 2021, which widened in 2022, but is forecast to be roughly balanced by 2023 as new supply comes online, with a return to a surplus in 2024. Estimates for 2023 have moved from a small deficit to a small surplus, and for 2024 from a roughly balanced market to a significant surplus. For more on the metals and junior mining stocks, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.